Preparing for an open house. One. What should I do to get ready for the open house? Your house needs to be as clean and uncluttered as possible. Can we stay in the house while it's being shown? No one is to be in the house during the open house except for the realtor and the potential buyers who are looking at the house. Can we leave our dog in the backyard during the open house? Absolutely no pets are to remain in the house during open house. Take them with you or board them, please. I have a lot of expensive jewelry and am afraid to leave it in the house. We will do our best to watch over your things, but expensive jewelry and guns need to go with you. How will we know when to come home? The open house will last from 11 o'clock until 4 o'clock. Preparing for an open house, too. Is there anything special I should do to get ready for our open house this weekend? Just make sure that your house is perfectly clean and that everything is put away. My husband wants to watch the game, and we were wondering if he could stay in his den during your open house. Uh, everyone in the household must leave the premises before the potential buyers arrive. Can the cat stay on the bed during open house? No pets are allowed at the open house. Maybe your neighbor would let your pets stay over there for a few hours. Where can I hide my expensive jewelry? If you have a safe, put your jewelry in there. Otherwise, please take your valuables with you. Will you let us know when everyone has left? Usually the open house lasts until 4 o'clock. If this one ends earlier, I will call you on your cell phone. Preparing for an open house, 3. What suggestions do you have for preparing the open house on Saturday? The two most important things are that your home is clean and clutter-free. My mother is old and wants to stay in her room during the open house. Absolutely no occupants of the house are to be present during an open house. We have several pet snakes and would like them to stay in the garage during open house. You wouldn't want someone to hate your house because they can't stand animals, would you? Your pets need to disappear for a bit. Will someone be watching to make sure my expensive jewelry doesn't get ripped off? We have two realtors to keep an eye on things at all times. But please, don't keep valuable jewelry or guns in your home when it is being shown. What time will the open house be over? You can come home at 4 o'clock if you like. If it is rainy and slow, I will call you if I decide to end it a little early. Moving day, 1. Is the moving van here yet? Yes, it just pulled up to the curb. Here we go. Could you double check and make sure that everything made it into the boxes? I have already done that. Would you like me to put our suitcases into the car? Yes, this would be a good time to do that. I am so glad that we took the time to pack our essentials into suitcases. It will tide us over until the van arrives at our new home. Would this be a good time to pack the frozen food into the ice chest? I think that we should wait until the very last minute to do that. I am going to take the dog for a walk so that he doesn't get too stressed out as the movers are working. Well... Let's get started sweeping up and do a last-minute cleaning. Moving day, two. Do you think that the moving van has arrived? It's coming down the street, even. 
as we speak. Could I ask you to make one last check to make sure that everything got into the boxes? Relax. Do you need me to put the suitcases in the car? Yes. Let's do that right now. It was such a good idea to pack the suitcases to have some things with us while we're waiting for the moving van to arrive on the other end. Maybe we could pack the frozen food into the ice chest? Let's wait until the van is almost completely loaded to take care of that. I am sure happy that we dropped the cats off at the kennel so they aren't freaking out. I'm going to start sweeping up the floor. I want the new owners to not have to clean up a mess. Moving day three. Could you check and see if the moving van is out there yet? It just arrived. They're parking at the curb right now. Do me a favor and do one last walkthrough to check for anything that may not have gotten packed. We've already double-checked everything. Should we put the suitcases in the car? It is the perfect time to take care of that. I am so happy that we didn't pack all of our clothes into boxes. The suitcase of clothes will help us to get what we need until our boxes arrived. Should we empty the freezer into the ice chest? Let's do a few more things and then take care of that as one of the last things we do. Deciding to keep the birds at the neighbors until we leave was a good idea. Let's sweep the floor on our way out so we don't leave too big of a mess behind. First appointment with Realtor 1. I am interested in selling my home and would like to know what is involved. You have come to the right place. When were you interested in selling your home? I just received a job transfer. I need to relocate right away. How long have you been in your current home? I have lived in my home for about 10 years. As I'm sure that you are aware, the market has fallen in the past year. People are more likely to make money if they have owned their own home for a while. Will I be able to recover the money I paid for my home? It is hard to say, but whatever house you buy will also be costing you a lot less. What is the next step in selling my home? I would like to meet with you tomorrow to look at your property, and then you and I can figure out a contract. First appointment with Realtor 2. I am looking for a Realtor to help me sell my home. I would be happy to help you with any questions that you might have. When were you thinking of selling your home? I am interested in moving up to a bigger home, but first I need to sell the one I now own. Have you owned your home for a long time? I just bought my home two years ago. I think you probably know that the market is not all that great. You are more likely to see a profit if you have owned for eight years or more. Will I be losing money if I sell right now? It is impossible to predict with certainty what will happen, but you can purchase a replacement home at a lower rate also. What can I do next to get the ball rolling on this sale? If it works for you, I would like to come over and see your home. Then we can draw up a contract. First appointment with Realtor 3. I am considering selling my home and like information on doing so. It would be my pleasure to answer any questions that you might have. Were you interested in selling in the near future? I am just checking out the possibility of selling as I am thinking of moving to Hawaii. Is your home a re recent purchase or have you owned it for a while? The house has been in my family for years, but I just became the owner six months ago when my mother passed away. 
Housing prices have fallen quite a bit. The longer you have owned your home, the greater the profit. Am I going to lose my shirt selling my home right away? It will all kind of even out. You may sell low, but you can also buy low. What should we be doing to get the process started? If it fits into your schedule, I could meet you tomorrow morning and we could take a look at your property. The next step would be us both signing a contract. Counteroffer 1. I hear the young couple that came by the other day made an offer on the house. Yes, the potential buyers made an offer this morning. Is the offer a good offer? The offer is pretty good. You asked 300000 and they offered 280000 I would be willing to take 290000 but no lower. You could make a counter offer of $290,000. Would you like to do that? Yes. I would like to make the counter offer. I will make the counter offer immediately by phone. What if they don't accept the counter offer? They can make a counter offer themselves or state that their first offer stands. Counter offer 2. I got a message on my machine that you received an offer on my house. Yes. The offer came in late last night. It was too late to call you. Is the offer as high as we were hoping for? They offered $280,000 and you were asking $300,000. They are definitely in the ballpark. I was prepared to go a little lower but more like $290,000. Would you like to make a counteroffer of $290,000? I definitely would like to make a counteroffer. I will fax them the counteroffer right away. What if my counteroffer gets turned down? They have an option of making a counteroffer, or they can just reject your counteroffer. Counteroffer 3 Your office called and said that an offer came in on our house. Yes, the offer came in less than an hour ago. How good of an offer did we receive? Their bid was 280 thousand dollars and you said that you wanted three hundred thousand dollars their bid is a reasonable start we built a little leeway into the asking price but i don't want to accept less than two hundred ninety thousand dollars sellers frequently make a counter offer would you like to counter offer two hundred ninety thousand dollars I think that a counter offer would be wise at this point. I will contact their agent right away with your counter offer. What should we do if they don't like the counter offer? If the seller doesn't want to accept your counter offer, they can reject it or come up with a counter offer of their own. Signing contract with Realtor 1. My wife thinks I should get a lawyer to look at the contract. Well, it certainly wouldn't hurt to have a lawyer review it. How much does a lawyer cost? I don't know. A good real estate lawyer might cost $400 an hour. That can't be legal. Just think how much it'll be 10 years from now. Do you know any lawyers that are cheaper than that? You'd have to check the yellow pages or go online. 
there's no telling how many hours the lawyer will charge me for. Also, it might take a week or two just to get an appointment. I'd rather get this over with, so just show me where to sign. Good man. I've marked all the places for you to sign and date. Signing contract with Realtor 2. My wife said to have a lawyer look at the contract. That's always a good idea. Do you know how much a lawyer runs? I've heard that they're about $400 an hour. Who can afford that? A few years ago, $100 an hour was outrageous. Can you help me find a cheaper lawyer? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. The lawyer will start at $400, but where will it end? Also, a good lawyer might not have time to see you immediately. My wife's going to kill me, but just show me where to sign. Now you're talking. The red stickers indicate where to sign and date. Signing contract with Realtor 3 My wife told me to get a lawyer to review the contract first. A smart husband always does what his wife tells him. How much are lawyers charging nowadays? It's hard to believe, but I think they charge about $400 an hour. That's highway robbery. I think lawyers are making twice what doctors are making. Are there any lawyers that are cheaper than that? The best advice I can give you is to Google it. I can barely afford one hour, but certainly not two. Remember, it might take a few days just to set up an appointment. I really don't have the time or the money, so where do I sign? Your wife will thank you. Just sign and date where the little red stickers are. Deciding whether to carry part of the loan, one. I heard that the potential buyer is interested in me carrying part of a loan for him. Carrying part of a loan can be a good or a bad thing, depending on the circumstances. What would be an advantage of me carrying a note on the house? <laughs> if you don't need the money, you can earn a fairly good interest rate. Why does my buyer want me to carry part of his loan? In this economy, buyers sometimes have trouble getting a loan, even when they have good credit. What are the risks to me? The risk is that the market could drop drastically and the owner would walk away. How long will I need to commit to financing this loan? You need to make an agreement with the buyer as to how long you will carry the note. Deciding whether to carry part of the loan, too. My potential buyer has asked me to carry part of his loan. The decision to carry part of a loan might be advantageous to you or problematic. Why would I ever want to carry a note on a house? It is a type of investment that can offer a fairly steady return over a set period of time. Why is my buyer requesting that I carry part of his loan? Oftentimes buyers are well able to afford the home, but unable to qualify for a loan. Are there any risks in carrying a second mortgage? You are basically betting on the fact that the home is not going to drastically fall in price. This could leave you with a house that is not worth much. Will I be financing this loan for a set period of time? That is entirely up to you and the buyer. Deciding whether to carry part of the loan, 3. If the purchaser of your home wants you to carry part of the loan, is that good? Carrying a loan could be good or bad for you as a seller. Why would it be a good thing to carry a note on my own house? For investors who can afford to have their money tied up, it 
can offer a fairly nice return. What advantage is my buyer looking for in having me carry him on paper? We are seeing more and more buyers who are not able to qualify for a loan and are able to take out a second mortgage with the owner. Can I lose my money if I carry a second mortgage? It is an investment and carries some risks. You are counting on the housing market to not go into a tailspin. Is there a certain amount of time that I'll be carrying this loan? The buyer and the seller set the year for the loan to come due. Rejecting a counteroffer, one. Hi, I was calling to see if the buyers had accepted my counteroffer. Yes, actually, just called back with a counteroffer of their own. Is the counteroffer close to the asking price? The counteroffer is for 10000 less than your asking price. I didn't really want to go that low in my pricing. I agree that that price is too low. Your home is in good shape, and you should get a better price for it. What should I do at this point? Since you don't want to go any lower, I can notify them that you are rejecting their latest offer. Can you take care of that for me and get back to me? I will let them know that your counter offer was the lowest price that you will accept. Rejecting a counter offer, too. Has there been any word about whether the buyers have accepted my counteroffer? Yes. I was going to call you this morning. Your buyers have responded with a counteroffer. Is the counteroffer a good one? They are now offering 10000 less than your asking price. That is really a bit lower in price than I would like to go. I think that your feelings are valid. You have a beautiful home and can afford to wait for a better offer. What is the next step? You can flat out reject their offer and see what they come up with. I would like to notify them that I am rejecting their offer. I will notify the buyers that you will not accept their counteroffer. Rejecting a counteroffer, three. I was wondering if the buyers have accepted my counteroffer. Yes, I, I just faxed you the information an hour ago. The buyers have a counteroffer for you. How much do they counteroffer? They are offering to pay 10000 less than your asking price. I am not really ready to accept that low of a price. I wouldn't accept that price either. Your home is in a good area and should command a high price. Where do we go from here? We should notify them that you are rejecting their current offer. They might choose to offer a higher price. Please let the buyers know that I am rejecting their offer. Hmm, I will take care of that right away. They may or may not raise their offer. Fixing up the interior, one. So, what do you think I should do to fix up the interior of my house? A fresh coat of paint is the number one improvement that you can make to your home. What colors do you think would be best? You need to go with fairly neutral tones. You want fairly contemporary colors that will go with a variety of furnishings. After paint, what is the next most important improvement that I can make? Remove any extra furnishings and personal items. Make your home look as uncluttered as possible. Should I get a new carpet? Your carpet is in really good shape. New owners typically want to pick out their own carpeting. How about improvements to the bathroom? 
New faucets are not that expensive and can quickly add a clean and more up-to-date look. Fixing up the interior, too. What are your suggestions for some inexpensive fixes to help me get the best price for my home? Painting the interior of your home is not that expensive and greatly improves the appearance of your home. Should I go for trendy colors or more traditional tones? You don't want to make dramatic statements with paint, but don't go with just white either. What else can I do besides paint the inside of my home to improve its value? You need to get rid of any extra furniture or knickknacks. I need to know if I should replace the carpeting. Your carpeting is very worn. You might want to explore buying some attractive, inexpensive carpeting. How about improvements to the kitchen? You could inexpensively replace the linoleum flooring. That would really brighten things up. Fixing up the interior, three. What do people usually do to improve the interior of their houses before they sell them? Your house looks very nice on the inside, but a fresh coat of paint always helps brighten a home's interior. I get confused when trying to pick out colors that other people might like. Lighter, neutral colors are usually best. They make rooms appear larger. The painting suggestion is a good one. But after that, what improvement will add value to my home? Your interior should have only the most basic of furniture. Either store or get rid of any extra clutter. What about replacing the floor covering? I know that your carpeting is not brand new, but with a good steam cleaning, I think that it will look great. Is there anything that I can do to the bathroom and the kitchen that wouldn't cost too much? New curtains or blinds do not cost that much and brighten up any room.